let's have a look at sum number two. Again, you have need to find a z parameters. The difference between in the earlier case and this case, in this case, I have taken a combination of register and inductor to find a z parameters. So please make it sure when you first you have a register inductor, in, you have need to find any parameters. Either it can be z parameters, a b c d parameters, x parameters, any parameters. So please be sure you need to convert your inductor and capacitor into a frequency domain as what we did in the previous case. So your L should be represented as LS and your C should be represented as 1 upon C. So in this case if I compare it my dear friends, my value of inductor is 1 L. So if I compare it to the value of L is 1, so it will be 1 S. Again in this case, it is 1 Henry, so it will be 1 S. So let's find Z parameters. I have two both. I have an input plus minus V1. I have an output plus minus V2. I have an input current I1. I have an output current I2. And I have a middle loop where I'll be taking a current which will be a clock phase which we have studied in mesh analysis I think. So I need to obtain my Z parameter. So my Z parameter equation will be so let's see you guys remember or not. I hope you guys have revised of some more one. Should be in terms of voltage. V1 should be in terms of I1. I2. V2 should be in terms of I1. I2. Sign should be Positive. Ultimately, if I need to find Z, that means there should be Z, 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 Z. So it is 2 by 2 matrix, so it should be 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. So ultimately, I need to get V1 in terms of I1, I2, V2 in terms of I2. So let's have a look, my dear friends. Apply KVA. In mesh one, okay. in mesh one, if I apply KVM, my friends, so add the terms. So you have one O plus one S, that would be S plus one I. Check if there are any other currents going through it. Yes, your I three is going through. Your I one and I three have the opposite direction, so sign will be minus. Guys, remember this now. This chapter you should solve without solving the chapter number one. Chapter number one is the basis for applying KVM. So you should always start with the same as what we have done. Okay, please. Equal. Your current enters into negative, so it will be positive. So that will be equation for A. Now let's apply KVM. And mesh to we can. In mesh to you have only one number, it's one S. So it will be SI. Your I3 and I2 are in the same direction, so it will be plus. Equal to. Your current enters into negative, so it will be positive. So now let's compare it. Can you compare it with the Z parameter or not? Your V1 is in terms of I1 and I2. Your V2 is in terms of I2 and I2. Logic says your V2 should be in terms of I1 and I2. There should not be any other parameter except that. But you have I3 and you have I2. That means also replace I3. My friends, if I need to replace I3, the I3 it should be in terms of I2. Either my I3 should be in terms of I2. Either my I3 should be in terms of I1. So these are the only three combinations where we need to work on it. So let's have a look. If I need to find I3, my dear friends, then I need to apply the key in the middle. So let's apply key in the middle. Let's see what we get. Apply KVN. In my screen. Okay. So add all that, all of them. So you'll get 2s plus 1 into i3. Three terms. Check if there is any other current. Yes. i1 and i2 both are flowing. i1 is flowing opposite to i3, so sign will be minus. i2 is flowing the same direction of i3, so sign will be positive. No voltage source equal to zero. So that will be equation for C. So this equation I've solved only to get the value of i3. Simplify to get the value of i3. Shift everything that side. So let's see what we get my difference. So it will be 
प्लस प्लस वन आई टी इक्वल टू एस आई वन माइनस एस आई टी जो आई टी बिल की एस अपॉन टू एस प्लस वन आई वन माइनस एस अपॉन टू एस प्लस वन आई टी सो दिस यू गोट द इक्वेशन ऑफ आई टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ आई सो लेट बोथ दिस इक्वेशन माय डियर फ्रेंड इन केस वन एंड जो ए एन सो दैट वी कैन गेट v1 in terms of i1 i2 and v2 in terms of i2 so let's have a look my difference so the equation which you got from a v1 was s plus 1 i1 minus s i2 so put the value of s3 from this equation so your v1 which you get my difference is s plus 1 i1 minus s bracket because the bracket is compulsory because this term cannot multiply with only first term. It has to be multiplied with both the terms. Normally, student doesn't take a bracket and your own term goes down. So, you need to be very careful in terms of the whole parameter. So, put on the value for i3. So, it will be s upon 2s plus 1 i1 minus s upon 2s plus 1 i2 multiply it. So, v1 will be equal to s plus 1 i1 minus s square upon 2s plus 1 i minus minus plus so it will be plus s square upon 2s plus 1 i simplify them you have two i1 combined take i1 common if i take i1 common my difference so the equation which i get is v1 equal to bracket s plus 1 cross multiply 2s plus 1 minus s square whole upon 2s plus i plus this will be s square upon 2s plus 1 i simplify this term equation this will get so v1 will be equal to multiply this should be 2s square plus s plus 2s plus 1 minus s square this will be 2s plus 1 bracket i plus s square upon 2s plus 1 bracket i2 so v1 will be equal to simplify 2s square minus s square will be s square 2s plus 1 s should be 3 plus plus 1 whole upon 2s plus 1 bracket i2 plus s square upon 2s plus 1 bracket i2 that should be equal so ultimately by solving it my difference you got v1 in terms of i1 let's compare it with the sign equation so v1 should be compared with z11 i1 z12 i2 now compare so you got the value for z11 and z12 so your z11 my difference is s square plus 3s plus 1 upon 2s plus 1 so it will be only the value this it is and your z12 is nothing but s square upon 2s plus 1 it will be Similarly, guys, second part you need to solve by. I'll be only giving you the answers. Put the equation of I3 and equation for 2. So, you should get V2 in terms of I3. So, I'll be writing the answers for you guys. The answer which you should be getting is solve V2 in terms of I1 and I2. So, your answer of Z21 should be equal to S square upon s plus 1 here should be ohms and your z22 will be s square plus s upon plus s so this should be the answer which you should get after solving the two equation so after getting all the values put it down into the matrix so value will be z11 z12 z21 z2 equal so over here you get s square plus 3s plus 1 whole upon 2s plus 1 over here you should be getting s square upon 2s plus 1 over here s square upon 2s plus 1 over here s square plus s upon 2s plus 1 that should be the matrix and the unit which you should be getting is ohms so that's what we do it Please make it a point that we should be solved by you. Let's compare if you cannot compare the answers. 
you should solve type one first sum again so that will give you a practice a hands on it and then, then solve it type two so hence for the guys the concepts will be the same everything you need to just start solving for it chapter is very very simple if you can get this two sums everything is very easy i'll just give you a hint how to solve the other parameters the solving part you need to have a very a lot of practice on it because your practice is the major key point in it because the conceptual part is very very less compared to the previous chapter which we have said thank you so much guys hope you enjoyed it signing off